tunnel down uh, to their stern that the poles can still just about see as the water's still very calm here, barely a ripple down most of the course, and the poles are able to see those tunnels coming down and therefore be able to judge more or less just how far ahead uh, the uh, checks are as the puddles fade away into the water. They'll be aware that the checks are well over a full set of boys ahead of them. They're getting three sets of puddles coming down to their right hand side. But that doesn't worry them. They've got a good look back to the United States and Mexico and it's uh, that particular duo that they've got to fight off if they want to go through to the semi-finals. America's North and South still battling it out for third and fourth place. Uh, Campbell and Anderson of the United States still ahead of the Lodge and the Strada of Mexico at the moment. Well, moving now away from the uh, tent of uh, the Paper Penley River and Rowing Museum, uh, uh, past the official merchandise tent of a world rowing, and it's new look this year, it's the uh, uh, Asian look, uh, uh, where that tent is taken from, uh, on their left hand. All moving around the idea of how they're going to go, they're going to be passed from the uh, post, uh, from the world, uh, to the uh, world, uh, to the 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 world, uh,
Robert, thank you very much indeed. Uh, great race for the Hungarian uh, to finish first, uh, really taking over for the second half of that race. So they finished first ahead of the... Yes, the final of Spencer Junior Man's Double Scope with the number